uh, I think that there's this beautiful tribal thing that happens when you put a record on and it moves in a circle. And I think that it's hypnotizing. It's hypnotizing in a funny way, but I think that there is actually something there that's happening. It has a magic that you don't get from plugging in your phone or playing a CD. It's just, I think there's something about it's very human. It spins and we look at it like little kids. My name is Raul Benavides, and I'm the owner of Flashlight Vinyl. Um, what I love about records is that it, my clients are all over the place, from an 18-year-old DJ to a 60-year-old Beatles collector, and every mom and dad and everybody in between. This store is a library. It houses memories and time, these artists making music. I don't think it's a trend, I think it's, I think it's permanent. I think that, that younger people are connecting to it more and more because they're making a night out of it. They'll put a record on and have a party and, and everyone will be around the music and the record. Uh, it's like going to the theater. I think, I think it's coming back because people want to own the music. I think a lot of people bought and downloaded music via iTunes or, or whatever and they realized that they're, they don't even own it, they're not owning anything physical. And I think that we live in a disconnected world that people are interested in being tactile, holding on to stuff and touching it, and, and being connected to the art of the record. You know, the, it's like a 12 inch piece of artwork. Well, and the, and the experience has multiple layers and I think that's what makes it beautiful. That's what separates it from other things. You put a tape in, the tape's doing it. When you put a record on, first of all, it's gonna, at the end, it's gonna tell you that it's over. By either keep going and skipping, or keep going and hitting the label. And but it keeps you present. Um, well, I think in the digital world, I think it becomes uh, more of a soundtrack or a background noise. I mean, it's still entertaining to people, but I, I don't think people may be as focused on the music if they're just putting on an iPad and walking around or doing the dishes or, you know. I don't think people gather around the laptop to like check out music together because it, it's not the same kind of ritual thing, you know. I think everyone gets overwhelmed and no one listens. I think that li listening is a, is a really difficult thing in 2017, 2018. Oh, I think, well, I think that, that the magic of record stores is that you get all these people with like interests. Like there's that collective magic. You know, the beautiful thing about going to a concert is that you have this collective joy. Everyone is like, oh yeah. Yeah, oh, this song, I love this song. And they're like singing, everyone is like in one place. I think that people come to record stores and if it's busy and, and there's enough energy in the room, that happens too. I'll, I'll put a record on downstairs and everybody will be like, oh, I love this song. <laughs>